comes to travelling on open roads, there's nothing quite as exhilarating as a motorcycle. Trouble is, there's also nothing quite as deadly. In most countries, motorcyclists represent only 1% of traffic, but more than 20% of all deaths and serious injury. It's much the same the world over. Fact is, if you're a biker, you're 30 times more likely to die than drivers of other vehicles. A critical factor in reducing the serious injury rate from motorbikes is the wearing of safety helmets. And here in Northern England, they've developed an even safer one. It's the world's first rear view helmet. Normally, riders have to constantly look down at their side mirrors or glance over their shoulders to see what's behind. But you can't do that without taking your eyes off the road ahead. So when you ride a bike in traffic, it would help to have eyes in the back of your head. And when you wear the new Review helmet, that's exactly what you get. One of the biggest issues that we, that we discovered whilst we were doing all of our research, that uh, a, a rider wearing a full-face motorcycle helmet uh, has the equivalent vis vision of a, an 80-year-old man suffering from glaucoma. Billy Morgan has spent the last 10 years overseeing the development of the helmet. Now, two million pounds down the track, they have a product that's being sold throughout the world. People just put the helmet on their head and once it was explained what it was all about, you know, their, their eyes just light up and it's as though someone switched the light on. Now, you might be thinking that the device is a camera and a screen, but it's not. From the front, this review helmet looks fairly similar to other full-face helmets. But turn it around and there's a real difference. Look at that. That's a rear visor that collects light and that goes to this. It's made of polycarbonate. It's a very tough material, the same stuff that's used for body armour. And on the inside, it has three reflective surfaces which bounce the image forward to this. It's like a tiny rear vision mirror that sits above the rider's eyes. So, it sits like that. Very effective, very simple. Of course, an enormous amount of research went into developing what's officially called the Multiple Reflective Optic System. It works in the same way as a periscope, but it's far more sophisticated, using three reflective surfaces to bend the rear image across the top of the rider's head to the visor mirror just above the line of sight. The end result is an image that gives the rider optimum field of vision. The wearer of the review helmet needs to be able to see an object two metres in height from a distance of 10 metres with an average eye height from the road of 1.57 metres. Because with optimum field of vision, you get a clear understanding of the road behind. But if you want more information, you just turn your head ever so slightly. But uh, we restricted that in the, in the first instance because too much information could be dangerous. If anyone knows the dangers of riding, it's motorcycle racer Grant Newman. He's now a big supporter of the helmet, both on the road and the track. So what's it like wearing the helmet? Um, it's good. It's got the added bonus of the rear view system on it, um, which helps me when I'm racing, uh, particularly off the start of a race. I can see if anyone's coming to the right-hand side, to the left-hand side. I can pick any line I want into a corner and know that I'm not going to get hit from behind. And um, then there's the other, other bonuses. It's, it's a lot quieter than everything else we've been used to. Uh, and the field of vision, you know, what you can see from either side as well, that's really good. Now, as I'm not a motorbike rider, Peter here has kindly offered to take me for a spin in his beautiful sidecar to check out this helmet for myself. Let's go. Well, two things you notice right away. First, the rear view image in your periphery takes a bit of getting used to, and second, the helmet is very quiet, its aerodynamic design substantially reducing noisy airflow. But a few minutes down the road, everything seems to fall into place. I have to say this helmet is very impressive. It might look like a regular helmet, but this small mirror at the top of my peripheral vision allows me to see exactly what's going on behind at any given time, which as a bike rider is incredibly important. 
It's early days, but the team see a big future for the technology, believing it can be adapted to any kind of helmet, even a fighter pilot's. Now though, it's motorcycle helmets, and at around $500 each, a reasonable price for added safety. Already the Review helmet has generated a lot of interest from bike riders around the world, from America through to Europe. And once you've used it for yourself, you can really understand exactly why. It's a great safety idea that really works.